Hello everyone, this is Raza Dorani. Today's video is about applying the new JSON form formatting options to a modern SharePoint events list. I will also show you how to create a modern calendar view for the events list in SharePoint. And we will add this modern calendar view along with the JSON form formatting to a SharePoint page as a web part. The JSON form formatting sample that I'm showcasing today is highly inspired from Tetsuya Kawahara's work. I will highly recommend you to subscribe to Tetsuya's blog and also follow Tetsuya on Twitter. So let's get started with the video, but first, my introduction. In a modern SharePoint communication or team site, we have the events list. And this is the events list web part that shows the list of upcoming events. Now, if you head over to the site contents and go to the events list, the calendar view that shows up for the events list is in the classic experience. Even if I switch over the view to all events so I can see it in a list format, even the list shows up in the classic experience, although my site is set up with the modern experience. So what we can do here is go to list, head over to list settings, go to advanced settings and right at the bottom here in the list experience, let's set the default list experience to the new experience. Now, if I head back to the events list and switch the view to all events, the list view shows up in a modern format. Now the goal here is to leverage form formatting. Now, if I select new to create a new item in the events list, the modern form experience shows up in a one column format. Now we can customize this form experience using the new form formatting options. So let's head over to configure layout. I can define the formatting for the header, the body and the footer for my form. I will start with the body formatting in which I can define the sections and the columns that go in each section. And right here, I've plugged in the JSON for the body formatting and clicked on save. And as you can see, my form now is divided into sections and each of these sections can have multiple columns. And as for the JSON right here, I've created a section called event info. In this, I have added these four specific fields. These are the display names of my columns. And then I have the event detail section. And finally, I have my attachments section at the end. So that's the formatting that I just applied for the body. Now I can also go ahead to edit columns and I can see my sections created and I can see my columns right here and I can move my columns across sections or change the positioning of these columns within those sections. Applied my JSON for the header formatting for my form. As I start creating the event, the header section for my form formatting will start lightening up. So I've just given a title to my meeting right now, which is meeting with client. And as you can see in the header formatting, I have the title of my meeting. I have the start and end time of my meeting as the 5th of Feb. So the calendar shows as 5th of Feb. I will select the meeting category as meeting. The category lights up in the header. I will plug in the location. The location information is now being showcased in the header as well. And for the event start time and end time, if let's say the event spans across multiple days, in that case, once again, the header will reflect that the event here in this case begins on the 5th of Feb and ends on the 9th of Feb. If I change this back to a single day event, only one calendar will show up right here because the event starts and ends on the same day. And now if I just go ahead and click save, this event gets recorded in my events list. Now let's try and break down the JSON for the header formatting. So out here in Visual Studio Code, I've gone ahead and placed the JSON. First step is my element of type div in this, checking to see if the title of the event is empty. If the event has no title, the entire main div, which is the entire header section is hidden in this case. And that's why when I first created a new item, the header was empty. The moment I plugged in the title, the header was displayed. Within the main div, we have the first section, which is showcasing the calendars on the left hand side. And for that, I have a couple of divs. So in the first div, 
wherein we are displaying the calendar, we have the year. So we have a function right here called get year. And all I had to do was provide the internal name of the start time column in my events list, which is called event date. Next, we are showcasing the month. And for that, we are checking to see what is the value of the month of the event date. If it is zero, we are plugging in Jan, one Feb and so on and so forth. And finally, we're getting the date associated with the event and applying the formatting options to make it look like a calendar. I also have a second div and this div shows up only if the event start date and the event end date are not on the same day. And for that, the check is if to local date string, if the event start date is the same as the event end date. And I'm just grabbing the date part right here of the start date and the end date. If the dates are the same in that case, this div is hidden. Otherwise, this div is going to show up. And once it shows up, it's going to show all the information of the end date. And the JSON here is exactly the same as before. The only difference is I'm pointing now to the end date column internal name right here. So get the year of that date, get the month and then get the actual date. The next div which shows the main section in this, we have all the information about the event. We have the title of the event. We have the event date and time. We have the location of the event and finally the category of the event. So that's how the JSON was built for the events list form formatting. Now you would not want your users to come to this list view experience right here to start creating events. And if I head back to the events list, this is the calendar view that shows up in the classic experience. However, now if I switch the view over to all events, once again, right here, we can go ahead and create a new view. And one of the new options here is a calendar view, and this is a modern calendar. So let me just go ahead and call this my events calendar view. And in this, I can define what's the start time on the calendar. So I'll pick the start time column and the end time on my calendar. I will pick the end time column and I will make this a public view for now and click create. And this will now create the new modern calendar experience right here. And in this new modern calendar experience, it's going to list out the month and all the events within the month on the right hand side panel, it will showcase all the events in that day. So right here now for Friday, I just have one event, which is meeting with client. Let me go ahead and create a second meeting. And this now opens up those same form formatting options for us right here. So I just added a title for my meeting, a category for my meeting, the start time and the end time, and I will click save. I just added a second event to today's date and observe the panel right here. It's showcasing both the events and they are ordered right here based upon which event begins first. So using this modern calendar view now, I can create new events on the fly. Now, if I select a specific event right here and head over to details, this will now open my same form formatting option right here in the context of my modern SharePoint view. I can also go ahead and adjust the width. I can open the side panel or close the side panel. And if I would like to select an event with the side panel closed, all I have to do is just click on the event right here. So once I click on this, it will showcase that event information. And if I make any change right here, let's say in this case, I change the category to business. It will reflect in the header right away. And of course, the form formatting option follows the theme of my SharePoint site. So if I change the look of my SharePoint site as well, so let's say I change this to the teal look, you will observe that the calendar and my form formatting options are also respecting the theme colors right here. Now, how do I go about adding this modern calendar experience onto a modern SharePoint page? So when you're connecting to the events, list, you have the standard events web part. And if you look at the properties of this events web part, you can connect to your events list. You can decide which categories you would like to showcase. So if I want to only look at my business category related events, I can show them right here. I can even select the date range right here and change the layout format, but I cannot get that modern calendar experience right here. 
Also, when I select add event, this allows me to create an event using the modern web page. So now I have two options right here. I can create an event right here using this modern web page experience, which cannot be customized. I can also go ahead to my modern calendar view in the back and leverage the form formatting options. So users can leverage that option as well to create events. But how do I go about adding this modern calendar experience to my SharePoint page? And for that, just go ahead and grab the URL of the new view that we have created in my case events calendar. And let's say I would like to place that calendar right here. So I'll go and edit this page and I will go ahead and insert a web part which is called embed. I can define an iframe right here. So I'm going to plug in my code right here which says iframe the source is equal to the URL of my events calendar view that I copied earlier. I will set the height as 100% and I will set the width as 100% and close the iframe tag right here. And I will enable resize to fit the page option. Once I'm done with this, I will go ahead and publish my page. And now I get that same modern calendar experience right here as a web part on my SharePoint page. I can see the modern calendar view. I can even see the side panel right here, which I can open or close. If I would like to go ahead and create a new event, this will now open up the event form. And the moment I start plugging in my information, as you can see right here, it will start showcasing all those form formatting options. If you like this video, then go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.